guest tonight, actor and comedian Larry Miller, actor and wrestler Steve Stingborden, from Becker, Terry Farrell, and Genevieve Wood. Hey, 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 thank you, please. I know why you're happy today. It's because we actually have a presidential race now. Did you hear? Mr. Mc John McCain has surged ahead of Bush in South Carolina. He was 20 points behind yesterday. Now he's five points ahead. Bush is fighting back. You know how he did it? I'm not kidding. Got the endorsement of Dan Quayle today. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That was how he fought back. Quayle, Quayle, <laughs> listen to this. Quayle said he is endorsing Bush for three reasons. One, he's a true conservative. Two, He's the best chance of winning for the Republicans. And three, Quayle said he has the same name as the guy I used to work for. How weird is that? <laughs> now, uh, of course, in politics, when there's winners, there's also lures. Gary Bauer, the Christian right candidate, he is going to drop out tomorrow, they say. Uh, yeah, it turns out the voters wanted someone who looked slightly less than a maitre d' at a church picnic for dwarfs. <laughs> and, he, uh, you know, Gary learned a tough lesson of politics, uh, time honor, that you can pander all you want to the unborn. They just don't turn out to vote. That's... <laughs> well, on the Democratic side, there is also controversy. Bill Bradley wants an apology from Al Gore because, you know, one of Bradley's surrogates is John Kerry. He's another senator who was in Vietnam and lost a leg. And Bradley says that Gore supporters heckled Kerry, calling him a cripple. And Gore said this is terrible. He clearly told his hecklers to, to he call him differently able when they <laughs> shouted at him. Uh, and uh, speaking of differently able, how about this? World Wrestling Federation is going into football. Did you hear this? The Wrestling League is launching their own football league. Wow. They, no, they say it's going to be a lot like the NFL, except uh, when a player kills somebody in a nightclub, it's actually in the script. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, meet our panel. <laughs> she is the director of media programs at the Leadership Institute, Genevieve Wood. Hey. There you are, young lady. Thank you for coming. He's a very talented actor, hilarious comedian, star of The Nutty Professor and Pretty Woman, my friend, Larry Miller. Larry, put it there, come on. Say, Uncle, give. A four-time WCW World Heavyweight Champ. He is the star of the TNT original movie, Shutter Speed, premiering Sunday, Sting. Hey. Thanks for coming back, Mr. Sting. Thanks for having me back. Okay. A very beautiful model and actress. She's one of the fine stars of Becker, Mondays at 9.30 on another network. Terry Farrell. <laughs> hey, you. Very nice Thanks to for you. coming by. Okay. All right, well, uh, we've all been waiting for the uh, punishment to come down for Mr. John Rocker. I'm sure you know who he is, the Atlanta Braves relief, pit relief pitcher who made some rather disparaging remarks about ethnic groups. Uh, Major League Baseball threw the book at him the other day, 73 days off during the off season. <laughs> <laughs> and a $20,000 fine, which they said they hoped <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> kidding, I kid because of the subject matter. Now, everybody hates John Rocker because he's a redneck, and, you know, that's probably appropriate. I don't certainly endorse what he said either, but my question is, do we really have free speech in this country when, if you say something unpopular, you get fired, fined, or suspended by the people who employ you? I don't think we do. I don't Next know. Next issue. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, well. No, I don't. I mean, in his particular case, I mean, he's wearing an Atlanta Braves baseball hat. He's got Major League Baseball that he's representing. I think they have a right to say, we don't want people who say these things representing us. I think they have a right to say that. They're not putting him in prison. Right. He can go say and work for somebody else if he wants to, if they want to employ him. I'm talking what, about what? a guy that masturbates before every show. He, I mean, he, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know. <laughs> Big mouth, I mean, no brain, small that's penis. That's the thing about the wrestlers. <laughs> What'd you say? What? I what? No, I'm not going no there. Small penis. Penis. <laughs> what? What just happened? <laughs> yeah, I. I'm with Larry. I don't know what. Oh no. Okay. I, I 
thought so. He wears a baseball know. hat, and then he has a <laughs> hat with a mini mask. What? <laughs> Look, oh, I, uh, Larry. To just to dive back in, so yeah. to speak. Uh, <laughs> I think not only they have a, a perfect right, I think they should be done more across the board. Now, I admittedly am not the uh, biggest sports fan in America, but I think that we treat these folks so badly for their entire careers. No one, it's like children where you never say no. Dennis Rodman says, whoa, but he's, he's someone he, people like because he wears a dress or something. How about when he says about, uh, well, the Mormons, I hate them. The Mormons are bad. They stink. The damn Mormons, this and that. It disappears like a smoke but ring. He should have been censored. You got the guys from the University of Nebraska and all these places only beat up 11 women, but they got a big game Saturday. Larry, as usual. So, you, wait you a minute. Let me, yes, forgive me. Let, me. let me just finish. It, it's, <laughs> it's just, I think all of these folks are man children who should be discipline a little more. It's like all these folks will keep saying something until I wipe the feces on the wall. How about that no one says anything? I'll do it again. And in his case, I would be livid if he was just with friends in a bar downstairs drinking and somebody had taped this. Because anyone has a right to say whatever they want there. But I agree with you. In terms of representing, you know what? This is a yeah. public thing. He's Larry, and, shut up. Uh, <laughs> you are, I'm Go kidding, away. but yes, ma'am. But and kids look up to him. You know, there's a responsibility for that. I have a morality clause in my contract with Becker, not only with Paramount, but with CBS. I represent the show to a certain degree when I go and do, you know, press for them. But it, does a morality clause include things that you say? Uh, yeah, but Bill, there's a difference in saying we can't have free speech. He's free to say whatever he wants, but there are consequences for action right. to take yeah. But, but he's not an action. I mean, Larry inadvertently, of course, brought up a good point. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dennis Rodman fined 11 days for kicking someone in the groin. This guy, 73 for speech. Uh, Spreewell got 68, again, less than this, for choking someone. Uh, Alomar, yeah, Sandy Alomar, Roberto Alomar, sorry, five days for spitting yeah, Bill, in the face the of the umpire. Is, is that Spruel, Spreewell should have been thrown out of the game altogether. 68 days, is, he was choking his coach. Exactly. The and problem the, is that these guys ought to be more harshly punished. It's not that but, John Rocker shouldn't get punishment, too. But the point is that in America, you can saying something is worse than doing something. You cannot be no, fired for being crazy or a criminal. <laughs> but if you say the wrong thing that is against the right speak of the government, it's positively Soviet. No. The I mean, government isn't job. doing this. It's Major League Baseball. And no. they didn't fire him. What? They didn't fire him. No. By the way, I, ju I just punished him for speech. Yeah, but for Bill, it wasn't the government. Thought. But it wasn't the I government know. who did it. I understand. I, and that. I would be against Congress coming in saying you've got to fire this guy because of what he said, but a private owned team, the Atlanta Braves, frankly, Ted Turner ought to be, I mean, the problem I have with this whole scenario is that the Atlanta Braves owner, Ted Turner, can get away with saying all these negative and derogatory things about Christians and people of religious faith, and the Atlanta Braves don't do a thing to him, uh, the, and Major League Baseball is uninterested the, the, in that problem. The commissioner said Major like League Robert. Baseball takes seriously, this is his justification, but he said Major League Baseball takes seriously its role as an American institution. Well, that's baloney in a sense because Bud Selig... What's more American than free Bud Selig speech? is not an actual uh, commissioner. He's the acting well, commissioner. He's just another owner. I mean, right. if, if there was a real commissioner, the guy could have said, guess what, you're out. And by the way, I have to say quickly, the reason I agree with Genevieve on this is because the guy, by saying it to a, rep a reporter, no one in America is that stupid. <laughs> to sit there with a reporter and well, what he, by saying, <laughs> what, no, forgive me, okay. by saying it to a reporter, what he's doing is saying to that reporter one of the actual things he said. Well, you know, when you sit next to a queer, know what I mean? And that's what he means. He's bringing in the reporter and he's saying it. Hey, in Larry, don't look at me like that. <laughs> yes, hey, queer, right? All right, I have to take a commercial. We'll be right back. of Canadian distillery. Elvira Curtis. To love it. All right, we're talking about, you know, punishment for what you say versus what you do. I couldn't help noticing the news today. Uh, Naomi Campbell uh, pleaded guilty to beating her assistant with a phone. Uh, I've heard of phone sex, but phone violence, I think, is new. <laughs> And uh, she went to anger management class, and it, it listed some of the people who have had to go. It's, it's sort of the traffic school of the, yeah. you know, of people who beat up their wives or have road rage. Uh, Puff Daddy had to go, you know, and, and I, I could see how the, well that worked. Uh, 
Mike Tyson, another yeah. <laughs> successful graduate. Star pupil. Good. Courtney Love, Tommy Lee, and Old Dirty Bastard. <laughs> Mr. Bastard, would you please take part in this exercise? Um, isn't this bull, don't you think? This yeah. anger no. matters? Yeah. No? No. I yes. think you should give it a shot and it's try to bull. find out why you're angry. You think these no. people... Well, obviously these people can't control their anger. They need someone to help them with it. You just think, what should we do with them then? But the question is, does it do any good? I don't think it does any good at all. A guy really? like uh, John Rocker, what's his Rocker, whatever his name sure. is, he is going to be heckled to death. A guy like O.J. Simpson is miserable. And Rocker's going to be miserable for a long time. But he hasn't been through the management class, right? Whether he has or not, that's what I'm saying. Life will take care but of a guy like that. But you're judging him before he's even had the class. But Ju <laughs> <laughs> Judging Rocker? No, I mean that the whether the anger management class would work or not. You don't know if you haven't seen him go through it. But like Puff Daddy went through it after he beat the record executive yeah. with the champagne bottle. Which is clever, you know, when you get no, to that I mean, point in life I have to, say, to bring I, the ghetto right up into the executive yeah. offices and still be beating people with bottles. I think a lot, of this, you know. a lot of this anger management stuff, it's basically an excuse of not for doing some, something instead of what we should be doing, which is sending like Puff Daddy to prison when he does something like that. I mean, they send him to anger management to make it look as though right. we're doing something, not doing anything. It's, a, it's an easy it's off for these folks. traffic school. It's right. Exactly. Right. Exactly. If you get arrested for drunk driving, you got to go to a course, you can just sit there and parrot back whatever they want, or so I'm told. And yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 Larry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a waste of time, and I, and I agree. When people do something wrong, there's already a process in, in, in accepting it should be a civil judgment right. of a fine, or you should have to go and do some time for something. If he's a five-year-old, you, you say, go, go stand in the corner. I mean, these are people who have committed crimes in many cases, and instead of sending them and having them do time for the crime, we send them off to these okay, yeah, anger man the wasn't big enough for them to actually go to jail, then there's got to be something for Beating them to do, like civil with service. Yeah, but the problem bottle? is most of them do. Well, what if, I, okay, if it's that specifically, time. yeah, I think that would be bad battery and assault, wouldn't okay. it? Or beating your assistant with a phone. I but mean, is the guy it, still making money from his, is that the only reason he didn't press charges? Well, he did press charges. Well, he lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, why, why are wrestlers, why do they kill less people than football players, do you think? Kill people? Yeah, I mean, is there a study football on this people spell? seem to be killing my, people my, a my lot. My script never called for killing anyone. Right. <laughs> But you know what I mean? I mean, football players just seem to be a lot more violent than the I never hear of a wrestler getting into trouble off the mat oh, field. Oh, no, no. Play. The wrestlers do get in trouble. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like As a matter who? of fact, there, there are some that have murdered. So. Oh. I don't want to mention names. But you know, names, thanks to anger some, management. Some have, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, we've been through the anger management too as wrestlers, and it is, you know, I mean, it was a joke to everybody. I mean, one of them stood up in the middle of everybody, about a hundred of us there, and said, "You know what, ma'am? Uh, everybody calls me fat." You know, and it was like a big joke, and everybody laughed. It didn't work. It went nowhere. Well, you went through it. Next subject. And kind of, <laughs> kind of like that story. Well, uh, I didn't know he had personal experience. No, I didn't either. I don't want to make no, you we, mad. We, we, I, no. we, I kid. I, we you know, I kid. I'm always kidding the wrestlers, Larry. No. Because we, we, they're big had, enough to take it. That's why. We have had these management courses and they don't work. They That's don't work. Why they, would there be ma ma management, management seriously in, in, in wrestling? Ma anger at oh, what? The, part boy. of the, the thing is the, the entertainment Politics is the anger. The jealousy and, and, you know, the contract, this guy makes more money, uh, he's getting a bigger push, uh, he's more popular, whatever. I mean, everybody's jockeying well, for funny. position. These phony, phony experts are people, who's, who's hired people who don't have regular jobs or are trying, are trying to do something, in, and again, in, enter, in entertainment, you, anger management expert? Who is that? What does that mean, even? Yeah, how do you get that job? Yeah. And what <laughs> is... Uh, what a qualification. Right. I mean, anger right. management, that's the kind of thing parents teach your children. You don't get mad when the other side wins. You learn to deal with it. You have good sportsmanship. That's yeah. where you get anger management. But when you go out and you're beating somebody over the head with a phone, or what, or Puff Daddy's yeah. case, well, you know, that's I where the police that. step in, and right. that's not about anger you management. Know what, by the way, there is, is the case of, of, the, of the mother who doesn't discipline well at the certain age. Once the kid punches the other kid and then says, you, you know, okay, what's bothering you really? That's another giant mistake in, yeah. in ring. You say yeah. at that point, you sit down, you leave the play, playground, you either apologize right now or we're going right home. That's right. And you don't do that as a child, then you wind up with a phone just going, don't you dial that number again. <laughs> I told you not to. Right, we have to take it. Come on, we'll do it.
tonight on Open Mic with Mike Fuller, the network. Join us tomorrow when our guests will be Larry Flint, musician Edward McKay, Roswell, Steve Heitner, and author Charmaine Yost. All right, we're talking about um, anger management and such, and a recent study came out that said women, uh, they did this in colleges, are twice as stressed as men. They studied this, one out of three college freshmen feels frequently overwhelmed, the poor dears. <laughs> Luckily, they'll soon be out in the hassle-free real world, so don't worry. Um, <laughs> But uh, twice as many are, uh, uh, women are stressed, and uh, I, I think it's because women don't have the kind of stress relievers that men do easily. We <laughs> I didn't say it. No, but isn't it true? We, you know, we're Thank not afraid. Did. We're not. That, that was my we, opening. We, right? Doesn't this get us back to the beginning thing? Yeah, <laughs> no, it's true. We drink more, we masturbate more, and we horseplay more. And women, you know, shopping is not a stress buster. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is if you can't afford to shop. Well, then it's more stress. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Well, they we're talking about things that reduce your stress. I'm sorry. I really wish I was going to disagree with you, but I agree with you. <laughs> yeah. They should go out and play basketball or go for a run or I don't yeah. know. It's easier for what? guys to put it up on the shelf somehow. I don't know how. I mean, it's good. As a provider for a family, we know that if uh, the job and the money is gone tomorrow, the sun's going to come up, we're going to have food, a roof over our head, and clothes on our backs for our children. But our wives are going to freak out because oh, they... Goodness, we're talking about college. They, they, How do you get a married with kids? <laughs> no, I'm no, talking about they, they... We can compartmentalize and yes. put it on the shelf. And right. a woman can... She, they analyze things, yeah. and they just, you know... I think well, so, and I, and I think that on adds here. stress. You're you know, right. you I, are acting. Yeah, let me go. Let me put a little positive I'm spin so on it. close, woman. I, I anyway. think. <laughs> Come on. I think women. you're going to have to stop me, Bill. I don't know. Anger management. Let's do okay. that. Where is that anger management person anyway? <laughs> hey, Bill, I think and what are you laughing at? <laughs> yeah. I'm on yeah, Larry. Let's see Shut up, Larry. Get her. All right. <laughs> I think, especially in college age, women at that, at that time, girls, are more mature than most men are. And so I think they take college a little more seriously. They take their schoolwork a little more seriously. And so therefore, they're more stressed if they don't get that oh. A average as opposed to a guy who's like, ah, C average, fine, whatever. I think women are more mature. Guys, guys they're also more stressed right. about it's their physical what, appearance. I think it's exactly. A, they're totally more stressed about their physical appearance, much yeah. more than men. I mean, they're all, you know, sex See. is a new thing relatively then. See, men Relatively. worry about women, but not other men. Women right. worry about men and other women. Mm -hmm. I think that's a big difference. Yeah. Because wow, I got applause that. for that? Well, <laughs> uh, you were right. You know what? Uh, forgive me, but I'm yeah. just feeling a little stressed. I'll be right back. No, Larry. <laughs> Sit down. You know what, by the way, it's sometimes also there's studies can... I'm not sure I trust studies any more than the experts. We were talking about anger management experts. Studies can tell anything. It's like polls can be skewed anyway. You, you, we all know that studies either affirm the obvious, like the 37-year federal study, you know, came, comes out last year. You know, little girls different from little boys. Really amazing. You know, <laughs> wow. You know, they te so it, they either affirm the obvious, or they they but just can, yeah, or they just or or they just teach something that the person running the study wants wants to tell more stress, it's all based on the individual. And again, again, it gets back to parents. If you, your daughter is there with the, around finals time with the scanner's vein throbbing like that, all right, you know, figure something out. Tell her to have a drink, you know. <laughs> all right, we have to take another <laughs> break. We'll be right back. Seriously, did they take it? The Comedy Network presents Bridget Gaw. Tonight on Open Mic, we're planning to be in the Los Angeles area and would like free tickets to Politically Incorrect. Call 323-575-4321. All right, before I got a minute, I want to ask you about this. I'm sure you read this in the paper about this doctor who was performing a... performing, he was delivering a baby. And he got finished and he carved his initials in the woman. Cesarean Side. section, right? He was a cesarean. Side. Oh, yeah, like that makes it okay. No, I just Well, clarified. he was carving anyway. Well, some people are probably wondering what he, okay. And they were huge initials, too. Yeah. I saw it on TV. She, it's sick. She's yeah. suing him, and I'm usually against frivolous lawsuits. This is not frivolous. Mm -hmm. What should be the penalty? Well, first of all, wait a minute. The easy, the easy answer can be the same thing should be done to him with a vasectomy. 
and one of those long Pakistani names with no vowels. <laughs> he doesn't get to be a doctor anymore. Can she yeah. carve her initials in him? I don't know. I mean, I would say he that. He should be banned um, from the medical profession. No, I mean, that's definitely. a sicko. That is a sicko. Anger management. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no anger management for this guy. Yeah. So, no, no, no so anger management. Away. I, I was shocked that anyone could read a doctor's handwriting. Not that he... <laughs> I kid. Anyway, tomorrow we have Larry Flint. Uh, we're going to make him walk. Edward McCain, Steve Heitner, and Jarmanio. Thank you, folks.